tired but victorious, the party made for the Lady Vengeance. The horrors of Fort Joy behind them. They arrived as sorcerers. They left as Godwoken. The fate of this godforsaken world now rested on their shoulders. Or at least, on the shoulders of one of them. Me. <laughs> this music was significantly louder than I expected, by the way. Yeah, the cutscenes are broken. They have their own they volume slider. Volume settings? Yeah, they do. Yeah, but like, I have the cutscenes volume slider at max, and the voice acting volume slider at max. And the disparity between the two is kind of ridiculous. Huh. A light sea breeze kisses your cheek and carries away the smell of blood wafting up from the deck. In the distance, Fort Joy looms. So by the way, if you ever get uncomfortably close dialogue, you can just press O. And you'll back mm -hmm. up the camera. Oh. Oh. Our freedom came at a great cost. I suppose the few outweigh the many. A hard-fought freedom, sure, but if spilling blood is bad, it shouldn't be so agreeable. Look at all those poor saps. They should have just let us go. Onward now. The sooner Fort Joy disappears from the horizon, the better. Perhaps the Seekers need help manning the ship. That's not what that dialogue option no, was. No, that's not what it's I pressed. Not. <laughs> Wait, what? Also, this camera angle makes me want to die when you press O. <laughs> oh, the Seekers Yeah, but it fixes seekers dialogue all... in the moment. The seeker, Seekers all died trying to um, take the ship. Spare me, Gareth. Yep. We got all of we them? No, all probably not them. Gareth. It's what success uh, looks like. It's Kerbin. I, I have been pulled into dialogue. Oh Melody my God, and Gareth are talking, and I... Th all of this oh, it's stuff Milady. I... Malady and Gareth are talking. Spare me, Gareth. We got what we came for. This is what success looks like. I won't see them tossed overboard. Not here. We'll hold a proper service. What's his face and so and so would want us to get this ship sailing before all else? They died for those Godwoken, after all. Dang. You know their names, Malady. Can't you even pay them that much respect? Gareth inhales sharply, then catches you out of the corner of his eye and smiles, barely. Our guest stirs. Welcome, Godwoken. Glad to see you safely aboard. <coughs> ah, our undead Godwoken. I had nearly forgotten. The dialogue is weirdly almost sounding like there's only one party member all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely. because we're not close enough. No, I think they only optimize this dialogue for one person. Yep. Strange. Let's see. We're eager to set sail, but how long do they plan to remain at anchor? Not a moment longer than we have to. But we're in something of an impasse. The ship won't move. She's mute. We need to free her tongue. I've never known a ship to speak in the first place. This is barbarous magic. Expedient magic, actually. The ship is made of live wood. It has the spirit of an elven ancestor tree within it. It seems Dallas has found a way to bind that spirit to her. It's like this is a universe where everything is alive and nothing ever dies. Well, this is just... It actually And goes everything back is to just kind of fucked up, too. The lore thing I just read where they actually enslave the elves and force them to cut down their trees and stuff. Mm. Oh, man. That's messed up. That means only she can control it. Unless we can find a way to break the bond. Do we have any leads on how to gain control of the ship? The Seekers, the survivors of us, have been combing the ship from bow to rudder. It hasn't been easy. This place is laced with dark magic. These Seekers have such a limited skill set. We lost a man in the search. Malady might not appreciate that, but I do. And I hope you do too. I'm sure the Godwoken will be able to get the ship moving. They kind of like to feel useful, don't they? Well, we'll do our best. It's your best that'll save us all. <sighs> oh, we have dialogue. Like us, as a group, have dialogue. Okay. Okay, hold on. Don't... Yeah, we gotta... 
we have to get close? Generally, yeah. <laughs> the ship Overkill. creaks beneath you. Somewhere on board, there must be a way to get it moving. We bested the Magisters, but they've more ships in their fleet. So let's get this show on the road on the double. There's more to this ship than meets the eye. We're not out of the woods just yet. Okay, wooden lady. Let's find out what makes you tick, and quick. This vessel Oof. is unlike any I've seen. Let us hurry. There are secrets to be plied from these boards. We really oh, do say nothing in those conversations. on the cringy side. <laughs> the party so, dialogue um, is like non-existent dialogue, basically. Yeah. So, oh, nice. by the way, if you see a guy with like tons of loot, just let me grab this stuff. Because he was the blacksmith. Okay. Uh, it might have been Mattis. No, it wasn't Mattis. Oh, I'm looking I found for the blacksmith super tempting loot. <laughs> I found oh, loot that oh. gives you 47 magic armor. And I'm like, oh, oh shit. But it gives you this nothing else. It's no stats. Oh, so I was walking up to the, the front of the ship near the incinerated corpse. And Maeve just popped up out of nowhere. And she's like, don't go any further, Godwoken. We need you alive. Okay. Hey, hold on. Say that you've been told it's imperative to get the ship sailing. You have to search everywhere. I know what's at stake. But I have to warn you. This ship is alive and dangerous. She glances over towards a smoldering pile of ash on the deck nearby. Something is nestled within it. Fragments of scorched bone. Yep. That's what I was going to try to loot, but... <laughs> <laughs> that was Brendan. When the ship wouldn't answer my call, he touched the figurehead, and it attacked him, without warning. He burned, like he was made of parchment. Ask if she learned anything useful before the figurehead attacked. Nothing. The ship is live wood, that much is clear. But I couldn't communicate with it. The Magisters must have done something, warped it somehow. I just don't know what. Yeah, I'll express my condolences about her dead compatriot. Her eyes flick over to the smoldering ashes once again, her head held at a despondent angle. Thank you. We were held captive together on this ship. He kept my spirits up. Now he's dead. Hmm. There, there's no time well, to spare. If this figurehead is connected job. to whatever controls the ship, then I have to take a look. She sighs. I know. Just be careful. Take the leave. So the figurehead looks like a large Quick dragon. Quick save. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is playing out a little bit different than I expected. The ship senses you. The pain intensifies. It's spreading past your arm, across your chest. Your lungs feel like they're on fire. Ouch. Your Ow. everything feels like it's on fire. Fire! I was just within range. Ew. Are, are you unable to move? Blessings no, I just keep doing it. <laughs> oh, well. It's fire! <laughs> Alrighty, that hurt badly. Thank you. Oh, here we go. God, my heel is strong. I have got unique dialogue for this. You do? Oh. Yep. What about if I should have unique dialogue too? Being an okay, elf. Okay, before you use a towering figurehead carved in the likeness of a dragon that looms over the bow, its fangs bared at the open sea. Uh, you spot a mark on the side of the figurehead. It's a living scar, like the elven slaves had back at home. <gasps> at that like moment, oh. the ship serendipitously creaks beneath you, almost like it is acknowledging your observation. Oh, have Play my a, hand at the figurehead. Do it. Pain races up your no, arm. don't do it again. The ship Let me run away. It's oh, burning. Fire. Burning. Well, All right, up yeah, to you I'm next, Shell. Uh, well, into a burning, burning, burning. Okay. Is okay. It's a steam cloud now. Wicked it, fucking. Oh. Pew. Yeah. Look at it, Seville. Oh. Okay, so it's a towering. It looms over the bow, fangs bared at the open sea. So it's a little bit different than because I think it was actually turning to to Wander's character. 
Yeah. You spot a mark on the figurehead. It's a living scar, the same type used to enslave you and your people. At that moment, the ship serendipitously creaks beneath yeah. you, okay. almost like it is acknowledging your observation. It's wicked, it's wicked, it's wicked. <laughs> Lay my hand Searing on it. pain races no, up. No. The pain Very in your arm subsides to a dull tingle. The skin on your hand is already blistering. Back away from it. <laughs> so we need to find dirty. a way to. I do need get to be heading scar. out now, actually, if that's okay with everybody. Originally, I was planning on going four to six, but then when we did three thirty to five thirty, I adjusted my plans. Understandable. That defeats okay. the entire purpose of starting early. Uh, yeah, because then we have to end early. Whoa. We'll start We're not early. ending early. We started at three thirty. Like, we'll and we'll start like early to compensate for the, your departure time, and then you change your departure time to be earlier. Well, I didn't at realize we'd start late. The ship serendipitously searing pain races up your arm. The pain in your arm sub searing pain races up your arm. If it means that the much to you, the pain but then you can loop forever, by the way. Oh, the taking your hand away, yep. putting your hand back on. Yep. Yay! <laughs> I just want to figure out where I can respect so I can stop being this weird hodgepodge of a person. The pain searing pain. I mean, it's worked out. You respect on the boat, so it's somebody, I guess. Yeah, I figured maybe Malady. Blessings to uh, I mean, Malady. Pray that they may find rest. Wow, you can uh, fire a journal updated. Uh, yeah, I fired a wait a ballista. Wait, hold on. She has different dialogue for you. Yeah, so I'm talking to Malady, and well, we never we're talked talk to her. We overheard yeah, talking so to somebody else. It's Blessings nothing particularly important, but I I said know may... the number of bodies littering the deck. Ask how many were lost in battle. She says one too few, actually. Continue. He's... Alexander, he's alive. I oh. stole his face! We have his face! How? It's in well, Fane's inventory! Now when we find him, we can be like, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's in the hold below decks. Unconscious, but alive. And faceless. Far from Dallas, huh? at least. She had his ear bent so sharp it could have broken off. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, okay. we certainly had better, but please I'm just going to skip past the rest of this. So apparently okay. there's a mirror below decks, which is where I respect. So I'm going to go sprint for that before we do anything else. Unless oh, below decks we're not, is bad. We're not, we're not doing anything else. Well, it, yeah. It, it looks... Oh, I mean, weird. Like before next session. corpse is here, too. Okay, mirror. They really did just talk whatever uh, corpse. Geist. I think Geist is just a, a random, like a name of an enemy. Yeah, it's it's a goon. Is it? Yep. Oh, hey, Beast is here. And he has a hat now. Like, check out my cool hat. I got it from a dead guy. You want to wear it? Much. Dude, there's a bathtub. There's a bathtub down here. Can I take a bath? Ooh, can we both take a bath? Is that Greg voice? Nope. It says now's not time, uh, time for a bath. I respectfully disagree with that game. I think I... No, this is an RPG, right? I determine no, whether it's an appropriate time for a bath or Where's not. The, where the hell's the other... Malady is... She's saying that we're going to see Meister Siva in a place called Driftwood filled of filled with fish and dwarves, apparently. Oh, no. Okay. But, Shell, I found a rat for you to talk to. Oh, a rat? Is this below deck? Yep. We have, right we have a, a stash them. now. Yeah. We do have a stash. Yep. There's, there's four the storage chests. It's actually running right in front of you. It is running by you. Oh, oh they have a teleporter is. pyramid. If I was a magister. Oh my god, those are Peace. back? Yeah, there's one the on the table. Rat. She's just called oh, the ship no. rat. How are you doing? There it is. Uh, ask if the rat knows how to steer the ship. <laughs> god. Okay. So the rat's saying it dances to a tune, it knows what it's doing. Talk to the figurehead if you don't believe me. That's always entertaining. She just wants us to talk to the figurehead? For me, anyway. Yeah, she but, wants you to light yourself on fire. Do, yeah, yeah that's herself. what she's saying. She likes seeing people burn on it. Uh, that's a very mean rat. That may Rats get tend to be mean in this game. What a rat. <laughs> Uh, it Wait. can hear you, and that's incredibly mean, Keith. It probably can't understand me. Dallas's assistant? What are they doing back here? Uh, probably being held Just prisoner captives. of war. Yeah. Yeah. 
Wanderer, you are pa you are my pants man. I all discovered pants, pants must, go, must go to you. Understandable. I'm the pants so man. Be riding at a prep. So we're not stopping at the moment? We are. No. Oh, uh, okay. Keith, Keith was like, beep, 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 beep. so I'm going to do another like 15, 20 minutes. We can stop. It's just it's nonsensical decision making. <laughs> I'm recording, I so we should continue. <laughs> I think we should talk with the assistants to see if we can glean anything from them as to how Dallas controlled the ship or how we can release it from. I yeah, I guess so. That probably makes sense. I guess we'll talk to uh, the short one. He looks interesting enough. It's a silent monk. Never mind. Wait, really? The other really? one is also a silent monk. Let's try. So we can't talk to them. <laughs> Let's try Dugan. Nothing if we can't get this tub moving. Uh... Never mind. Never mind. They no not, information from not, them, then. They do not have continuous dialogue. Ooh, beer barrels. Oh, I don't know how to brew beer. Barrels. It's like in real life. God damn it. I play video games there we go. To, to be more than I'm selling Dugan a, a pair of socks and a ripped off human face of Alexander. There you go. He no, accepted no, my that. offer. You want to keep the Alexander face. No. Yeah. No, nope, Dugan has it now. Give it back to Alexander. No, Dugan has Alexander's face now. Can I buy it? From <laughs> him? He paid me like two gold for it. Why did you give him two gold? We bought a hand. Oh. Wait, I got, Beast is on I, the ship? I, I can yeah. say I sold Alexander's face. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to give you something, uh, Fane. There you go. And I find that intensely, intensely amusing. Oh, so what you guys you are going to go see Alexander? No, we don't know where Alexander is. Said below deck. Oh, well, there's a hatch that goes even lower. Yeah, you can go even lower, which is where the, uh, it's where we need to go, actually. So everybody go down the hatch, and then we'll deal with that, because there's Usama a freaky Del door and, and a Han. Isn't Han the, the boy? Vengeance. Yep. Jeez. Oh, yeah, there's the mirror that we're probably going to use to teleport off this boat. No, the mirror is how you respec. Oh, Bil there's Bishop Alexander. Where? In a cage. Yep. There's Star Sergeant Zarilla. Can I talk to him, seeing as I've got his face? <laughs> Did you buy the face back off of him? Divine Eminence Vessel, Lady Vengeance. You keep saying that. It won't save you. Well, no, I'm really like interested to see how this Alexander they gave, thing goes. They gave Alexander a collar. He's always had it. Yep. He yep. had it in the last fight. That lady, that's not going to help him not have a have a, like a face now. Like <laughs> she notices you observing her, she straightens her back and sets her jaw in a defiant scowl. Magister Ranley, Corker's mate of the Divine Eminence vessel, Lady Vengeance. That's all the information I'm giving to any of you lot. So stow your questions, lizard. Oh, that is your word. You can't just call you lizard. You can't say that. Only we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> say that you're sure you can get her to talk. She's only human after all. Ranley, what? What? Vessel, Why is it so much quieter, too? Yeah, quieter and I don't know. Uh, I think she just said that, that was going to be her spiel to say that over and over and over again. wonder if there's loot hidden on this tub. There must be payroll or war chest tucked away somewhere. The Magister pauses, takes a deep breath, and... Magister Ranley, Corker's mate. That's so much quieter. Vessel, Lady Vengeance. Ranley, Corker's mate. What? Lady Vengeance. I'm just cycling through dialogue here. Yeah. Ask if any of her comrades escaped the attack. You don't want to bump into a Magister holdout hiding in the lower decks. Ranley. Well, you're useless. <laughs> you're going to pick the lock? I'm going to fail. I have no, th I have no points in thievery. I have several. Oh. Get a good look at his face. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> That's the top dialogue option. Yeah, yeah sure. Bishop Alexander lies supine on a spare wire cot. The one conscious, his eyes are only half closed. His swollen jaw hangs open at an odd angle. Ew. Ew. A good look at his face. Bruises swell beneath his eyes, and a shallow gash zigzags from his right ear down to his beardless cheek. Unconscious, he looks more boy than bishop. 
inspect his hands. Someone has wiped the bishop's hands clean and folded them neatly over his abdomen. They rise and fall in shallow, jagged swells. Look closely at his simple regalia. You can't quite make out the details. You need to get closer. I don't want me to get closer. <laughs> Teleporting quick in. Quick saving. Pick the lock. His, uh, his swollen jaw hangs limply in the Red Prince's <laughs> pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. Oh, you Bob opened it. You, Hello, Alexander. Get away from him, sorcerer. Alexander That's Hamilton. I can fix him being the divine, probably. You just stab him. <laughs> Let's see here. Memory? What does this have to do with memory? I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting. I I do have a really good memory, though. All right, memory. It's, but it's so flippant that I don't know how well it'll work out. Uh, tell her to back away. You have important matters to attend to. Nope. Prisoner or not, I swore an oath. Do you want me to reload again, so we can I'll try this again, and I'll I'll do the uh, talking? Yeah, with sure. My high... Okay, because yeah, I've got a I've got a higher persuasion stat. Yeah. Okay. also just talk to her again i don't i don't think that was really like a all or nothing fail i think it was she didn't attack us uh no yeah. she was she was about to no like that's what her dialogue was going to be no she clearly got up and walked over the body and inspected it again like she always does in the same loop okay if she was attacking well, us there'd be a fighting scene <laughs> uh let's see tell her to back away you have important matters to attend to great and success all right don't what does that have to do with memory? I'll be watching. Don't know. Are you looking at the body now? Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Bruises, face, same thing, hands, same thing. Hand, the same thing A beautiful six-sided oh. gem rests on the bishop's chest, hung round his neck by an ordinary oiled rope. <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> steal things? That's horrible. Yay, looting coma victims. Wow, wonder. After killing, after me, you're probably the worst party member. With but with the uh, moral, yeah, I <laughs> looting an unconscious feel, guy yeah. whose face I carry in my bag with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I ought to chain you up. Constance, to get me. out! I'm trying to close this door. My moral Magister compass is not is not uh, <laughs> harmed <laughs> by your. Uh, yeah, so you can tell people are going to attack you because the actual fight actually starts. He's just yelling at us to go away. Oh, there's the there are a lot of here. crates on this place. Uh, interesting. I guess I'll drop off constitution because I don't need health. Every, uh, when I die, I die very badly as opposed to just like... Eh. Aha. Uh -huh. That's interesting. I talked with Constance and she said something about how there's an even lower chamber where they kept people chained up and that there was always a moaning and chanting going on down there. But that Gross. it wasn't Well, so maybe there's some kind of magic that we need to dispel. Yes, there is. Can you guys uh, click on me? Uh, sure. Oh, okay. So I went to one of these weird face doors, and it said, uh, door seems like any door at first, but then you notice the unblemished wood. There's no knot, no scratch, no dent to detract from its apparent perfection. And because I'm a scholar, uh, it says the old text spoke of doors like these. Disputostiums, they were called. Place your palm against the door. The wood groans and creaks. A face appears in the wood. Yeah, look at it. Tortured and tormented, a six-sided indentation is carved on his forehead, as if a gem or amulet had made Ooh. a mark here. The face yep. vanishes. Hold the gem you took from Alexander out towards the, the door. The anguished face appears once more. It dips its forehead towards you and waits. Hold the gem to the six-sided shape carved in the figure's forehead. A shudder of pleasure racks the figure in the door. Uh, it seems to breathe. All of a sudden, all anguish is gone. It gives you the sternest of looks. No entry allowed. Please use the port side door. 
Okay. Um. Did you ever try asking it to open oh. while holding the the thing? Okay. Well, no, 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 no. I'm going. I'm going through this side. Looked around. But like, did you try? No, but I mean, port side. Let's let's obey the door's commands. Yeah. I'm not. Look, how many doors have you had conversations with? I'm not going to. This is first contact, man. I'm yeah. going to be very nice to this door. Let's see. Hold up the gem. Hey, and... this is it's asking for security questions to a uh, password. Well, hold up the gem. Point out that you have the gem. You've summoned me with the gem, indeed. Uh, <laughs> now, Tell the door. <laughs> the password. Oh my God. Tell the door what your password seems to have been changed. Ask for a new one. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Demand the password Safe. on the authority of Dallas himself. Okay. There is a skeleton cat walking around that room, by the way. The lizard mind is as hey, simple I succeeded in persuading the door. Stubborn. Oh. You did? My the password is fortitude. As ever. No. All right. I have to open up the door then with the uh, password. I actually fortitude. tricked it into telling me the password before I could give it the answer to the security question for the password. <laughs> Well, not very good oh, at and this. he says drat. <laughs> Guys, use fortitude as the password? I well, no. You, you're the one who knows Speak it, so you have to talk to yes. the door now. Oh, I have to use no, the No, no, door. no, talk to this door over here. This? Yeah. Your door? Yeah. But is it just for the other door? I don't know, we'll figure it out. No. Uh, we have a password. The store wanted a password. Date the password. Fortitude. Yes. And yes <laughs> again. The word is spoken. Welcome to the state room. Boy, we uh, <laughs> we really Stumbled tripped over one. our own shoelaces to get through that puzzle, didn't we? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's a cat in here, a skeletal cat. Ew. That's Just not nice. One more moment, please. He clicks together two halves of some type of gauntlet sitting in his lap and turns his full attention to you. And there. Rescued at last, am I? To whom do I owe my thanks? Um... <laughs> ask what he's doing. Is that armor he's working on? Armor? Such a limiting word, but yes. It serves that purpose, amongst others. Dallas has been keeping me prisoner here. But I try to keep working on my own projects when I can. Um, tell him that the ship is immobile. Does he know what might be causing that? Dallas didn't tell me anything if she could avoid it. But I did overhear her practicing an ancient lizard dialect. Significant, perhaps, don't you think? Uh, tell him to spit out whatever it is that he's insinuating. There's no time for guessing games. Lizards apparently have ancient magic that allows them to control slaves that bear the mark by singing a song. Dallas must have had an interest in those techniques. Point out the prisoners aren't usually held in the master cabin. Why was he here? Dallas took a particular interest in me and my skills. I'm an expert in healing, crafting, and uh, more arcane practices. I don't know what that means. She kept me here to do her bidding. Until you took her flagship from right under her nose, it seems. Mark that it sounds like he was kept as her personal slave. Oh, yes. And she could be a most cruel mistress, I'm sad to report. He extends his arm and pushes up the sleeve. Beneath, the skin is withered and discolored, as if it were magically decayed. She used some form of domination device on me, forcing my hands to do her bidding, and half ruined them in the process. Uh, ask what exactly she had him do. Oh, cast spells, tinker with relics, meddle with the laws of nature. All the sorts of things power-hungry despots love to do. She had me enchant a dead cat over there, so it would seem alive. <laughs> <laughs> he clicks the gauntlet into place around his withered forearm, his eyes on you the whole time. But that damn contraption that she used on me seems to have fogged my memory. The rest is... a blur. Uh, remark that memory loss is very convenient. There must be more. Trust me. Convenient is the last word I'd use to describe the experience. Pass me that copper wire there, would you? Uh, hold the wire out of reach and say that you want to hear a proper ending to his story first. An unseen force yanks the copper out of your grasp. 
Tarquin catches it and offers you a thin smile. Butterfingers? I'm afraid I truly can't remember anything. Now, unless there's something else you want, I need to get back to my work. Uh, say that you don't believe him. I'm doing my utmost to be civil to you, under rather trying circumstances. Why must you push me like this? Uh... Note that you've already seen him use telekinesis. Who knows what else he might be capable of. An active imagination. Overheated, even. Perhaps you should let this matter rest. Your blood is up after your adventures, it seems. You wouldn't want to do anything rash. Oh. What is happening? Oh, scroll hmm. down. <laughs> I got oh. stuck in oh, a flood of the previous yeah, messages. We've been rolled into not. team dialogue now. Uh, which is not voice act acted. So if this one was enslaved by Dallas, then he could still be under her thrall. We can't keep ri uh, we can't risk it keeping him around. Whoops, that's not the one I clicked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this we, is just we like have a, to read these out. To vote. <laughs> yeah. This is a, oh. So if we're playing with a party and we don't have voice chat with hey, each other, no, this is a way for us to like but talk to each other. But there are some where they are voice, no, and there's some just, that you just, aren't voice. You just don't pay any attention. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I just pointed out it wasn't voice acted. Oh, and, then, okay. and then he read his line aloud. I, I was trying to concentrate on what line I wanted to say. Anyone who faced enslavement deserves our sympathy, not our blades. Leave him. Let the creature live. He's hardly worth our time. Um, There's something wrong with him. I just know it. Kill him now before he can harm us. There's something wrong with him. I just know uh, it. What? Kill what? him now before he can harm us. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now it's back in dialogue with him. I'm gonna talk to the cat. He's I, still no, he's still in dialogue. Wait, I'm still in dialogue with Tarkin. Oh, yeah, I think. Sorry. I think our team that's, dialogue that's, I even interrupted said it to you out loud. <laughs> Heard. Ah, that's better. Now, as you were saying, the hard way. Uh oh. What? Oh no! Nah, he's a dick. He's a dick. Reload. Okay. Nah. Okay. I don't see how he's oh. a dick. He's a slave. He was, he <laughs> this was bird was like, oh, we should kill him. He's dangerous, and that's well, why he's dead. That ended up being the canonical choice. Also, you were, you were the person that here. was talking to him. <laughs> I also don't have time to do this fight, so... <laughs>